Hello and welcome to Warcraft Daily for today the 20th of June 2013. In today's news I will be covering the new build of the PTR. This was released yesterday I believe and has got quite a few interesting things, not a massive amount but there's certainly enough to cover in a show. We have new models, new maps, new battle pets, new achievements, basically a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to go through it one by one to give you the lowdown of what's happening. So the first thing is new models. Now these are actually rather interesting, they look pretty cool. So the first one is, uh, it's marked as orc super soldier jpeg, so I'm going to assume it's some sort of, you know, crazy soldier that Garrosh has made. They look pretty damn cool, going to admit, I think it's pretty awesome. The next one is of some sort of siege engineer. Once again, I think it looks really cool. I like it when Warcraft makes mechs because their art style, their little twist in mechs, I think is pretty damn cool. So that's the two new models that we got. Um, I think they're both pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's a win for Blizzard. And the next thing is new maps. Now there's uh, about uh, 15 of these and they're all the ones for the Siege of Orgrimmar and you can clearly see as you go through these maps, you start off in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms at that mine then you move to, uh, you move sort of under the mine into that old god building, and then the next ones are you in Orgrimmar. So perhaps there's two very distinct wings of the raid, or there's a portal or some sort of portal business going on in between. Overall, it looks very interesting, and it actually, you'll be fighting outside Orgrimmar as well, which I think is pretty cool. Too much in Warcraft, they make you sort of go in the back entrance, and, uh, don't take that out of context. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit smaller in scale, but hopefully this will be a large scale fucking war that'll be cool. So, hopefully they do that. I think it's pretty interesting. Another thing is that the, um, the map for the Veil of Eternal Blossoms start point at that mine is not destroyed, actually. It's, um, it's as we see it today. So, hmm, I'm not too sure how that goes down, actually. And the next thing is new battle pets. Now there are quite a few of these added, the ones that I know are battle pets are the ones for the Crane God, the Ox God, uh, the Tiger God, and the Jade Serpent God. They look pretty cool, actually, I think um, as far as battle pets go, they're pretty nice. The Jade Serpent one looks a little bit low res, I will admit, the others look more sort of higher quality. Um, now there's also a Wolf, a I think it's the Rascal Bot, which is essentially the bad robot guy, and Pierre, which is that talking, walking, horror thingy, maybe? I don't know. But uh, yes, these do seem to be all battle pets. Pretty damn cool, they're adding more more stuff to that, and they're actually pretty cool pets, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now for general additions, the tier 16 ahead of the curve achievements have been added. These are for 10 and 25 player, and will reward you with the Corcron War Wolf. Now you'll get these achievements by completing the raid content, uh, before the next content patch, so pretty much, you know, don't be, you know, don't be a slacker. Also, priests have got a new glyph that gives them angelic wings. That's pretty cool. The season 14 elite gear has had its stats removed, so it's now clear that it's purely a cosmetic thing only. And they it did it used to have stats on that that were just equal to the other uh, season 14 gear. So hell yeah, that's good. Uh, as for tier 16, them levels seem to have been confirmed by Ghostcrawler that they are 528 in NFR, 536 in Flex, 553 in Normal, and 556 in Heroic. Also, the Glory of the Orgrimmar Raider will award players with the Reigns of Galakras. Now, Galakras is a boss that you fight, it's uh, Warlord Zayla's Proto Drake, which would make it seem that you don't actually kill Galakras, so I'm not too sure how that goes on. And uh, fan favorite Gaiman or Gammon. Whatever it has uh, now got an achievement, which, fuck it, Gammon will save us. Essentially, you just need to kill Warlord Nazgrim before Gammon dies. That's pretty cool. He seems to have been like a little mascot for the horde that they enjoyed, so it's nice that he's getting an achievement. Pretty damn nice. And uh, yes, they've also added achievements for the Proving Grounds and for Tier 16 Encounters. Now, I'm not going to go through these one on one. It's pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Uh, the Proving Grounds ones are only for the Bronze tier at the minute, but you know, obviously they're going to add more. So that's it for this PTR build. It's not ginormous, I'll, I'll give you that. But the good news is that there will um, there will probably be raid testing going on within the next few weeks. Blizzard did say that they were announcing the times, but just not the dates, so hopefully they'll get the dates out. That'll give us plenty of content to cover. So that's actually it for this show. Now. 
Um, in terms of stuff on the channel, I'm going to try and do a whole bunch of Brawler Scale stuff, because I just got my way in. I know I'm a little bit late to that one, but I know it seems like fun. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Please like if you like, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. There's plenty of news, plenty of old gameplay, stuff like that. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.